Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. And I don't want you to use your calculator right here because here is a problem we have 30 plus 42 and times 2. Ok, so what is the correct answer? Most of you all are like, yes I can handle this, I can handle this problem, this is basic addition, basic multiplication, I learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. Go ahead and put your answer into the comment section and we will check our answer here in just 30 seconds, it will be really interesting to check our answer and of course we will see a correct solution to this problem. Ok, so write your answer, what do you think is a correct answer, option A, B or C. Ok, because obviously whatever order we select is going to create a different answer, right? Addition first, multiplication first a lot of combination and of course a lot of answers. But before solving this I'm going to show this the first obvious solution, but I, I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I just want to show you this obvious solution. So a lot of students solve it like that, so 30 plus we have 45 and times 2. One part of students solve it like that, they say ok 30 plus 45, ok let's start with this, 30 plus 45 equal to 75 and times 2 equal to 150. And they look at this option and they say ok, option A is a correct answer, we have like option A is a correct answer. But let's look at the correct solution, because obviously whatever order we select is going to create a different answer, right? So for this question I have this PMDMC uh, order of operation, this is the main popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And I want to rewrite this problem real quick, so we have 30 plus 45 and times 2. And let's look uh, at order, this order real quick. So so what is the first step? This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, ok? So the first step according to PMDMC parentheses, and let's scan, are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those, we don't have any parentheses. What about exponents? So are there any exponents right here? No, I don't see any of those. Let's go to the third step, we have multiplication division per part, and let's scan, where do we have like the multiplication or division part? Right here, addition, not our case. Yeah, we have this multiplication part right here. So we need to start from this multiplication, it will be correct, correct, correct beginning to this solution. So 45 times 2 equal to 90, yeah? and we have like 30 plus 90 equal to, equal to 120. And a lot of students look at options, ok, we have option A is not 120, option B, what about this, what, what is that, 5 factorial, uh, option C is 90, and they go back, they say ok, then 150 is a correct answer, they forget about this correct solution, of course, this is a correct solution solution, this is absolutely incorrect. Then forget this solution, I just wanted to write with this black pen right here, this is incorrect solution. And let's look at this correct solution right here, because obviously we don't see this solution right here, we have 150, we have 90, but what about this 5 factorial? Let's look at it real quick. 5 factorial, if you know what about 5 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 5 or from 5 to 1, doesn't matter, or an order right here, so 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Ok, and let's check 5 factorial, what is, what is the answer to this 5 factorial? We have a product from 1 to 5, so let's look at it, so 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 3 we have 6, 6 times 4, 24, and 24 times 5, it looks like 120. So 5 factorial, this is the same as 120, and if you're talking about this test right here, a correct answer is option B, because 5 factorial, this is the same as our 5 factorial, this is the same as our 120, and moreover 120 we have right here, yeah? So this is the same, this is exact value of this 120, so we can easily write this answer right here, and very tricky moment, so we have our, our answer, this is option option B, and a lot of students go back, they say, ok, oh, my solution is incorrect, because we don't have this 120, what about this 5 factorial? So this is very tricky, like relaxing algebra problem, and I hope you understand this, and hope you understand this explanation, and moreover, if you made this error, I'm happy, I'm happy you made this, because you won't make this again, just forget, just uh, remember this factorial sign, what, what we need to do with this factorial. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure, thank you for your time and have a great day, see you in the next videos, take care.